since the beginning, uh, the message of the Springfield Green County Health Department really has been those three W's, to wash your hands, to wear a mask, and, and watch your distance. But as uh, many of our area businesses have adopted prevention strategies and have really gotten good at preventing the spread of COVID-19 in their workplaces, we want to move past just talking about that baseline and talking more about best practices. And kind of what that looks like for our area businesses is to create what we're calling zero exposure environments. And that sounds like a lot. What that really means is you want to create a workplace where if you do have an employee with COVID-19, they are not exposing uh, any other staff, customers, or visitors in those spaces. So you have it to where there's just not close contacts between other people. And that would both protect the health and safety of the other people in that workplace, but will also help protect the business because there'll be fewer uh, employees that are out uh, on quarantine or in isolation. You'll have less spread of the disease both in the workplace and in the community overall. And so there are many ways that you can accomplish this. Some of the best practices and the strategies that we suggest, you know, obviously there's of course working from home, but if you're in a workplace where working from home is just simply not possible, Possible. Um, cohorting of shifts. We have creating workstations. So you have areas where there people are not crossing over into those spaces and coming within that six foot um, distancing uh, of other staff when it's not necessary. So for instance, like in a restaurant, we would establish different entrances. So your kitchen staff are coming in one door and are not really ever interacting with your service staff up at the front. Uh, and making it to where those two segments of your workforce are staying completely separate throughout the entire shift. So that way, if you do have you know, a server or a host that um, contracts COVID-19, you're not also uh, exposing the individuals in your kitchen to COVID-19. And that's always been a, a really good example because in many of those kinds of businesses, that physical distancing piece is really difficult, um, just given the the limitations on space. Uh, some other ideas uh, to facilitate physical distancing and as basic, basic as it might seem is just marking off spaces uh, in meeting rooms, chairs, break rooms, and different things like that. So creating a zero exposure environment really also means going beyond uh, workspaces and desks and, and zones where employees are completing the work that they're doing. It also means taking into consideration all of the other interactions that that employee might have because of their work. That means who they're gonna interact with on breaks, where they're gonna eat their lunch, if they're carpooling to work with other employees, all of those are opportunities for uh, a close contact, which means that it's possibility, there's the possibility there that COVID-19 could spread. So not only do you wanna incorporate this guidance into the workplace, but you also wanna encourage your employees to keep these things in mind when they're taking breaks and taking their lunch, coming to and from work, uh, and just in their personal lives to help keep uh, our businesses safe to help help keep our employees healthy and safe as well.